Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be doing a how to draw faces drawing tutorial and this has been one of the most requested videos on this channel and so I thought it was about time that I did this for you guys and I just want to put out a very quick disclaimer before I start um, drawing and that is just to say that this is, not a, this is not meant to be a realistic drawing tutorial by any means. So if, if you're someone who's looking for a realistic drawing tutorial on how to get realistic facial proportions, then this video is probably not going to be very helpful because I'm basically just going to be showing in this video how I draw um, the girls' faces that I draw. And, and, and those are the faces that you see me drawing an awful lot in, on my channel. In almost every video, I'm drawing a very stylized, very cartoony girls' faces. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, draw today. Um, the other thing I also want to quickly mention is that I have done a tutorial on how to draw eyes, how to draw lips and how to draw noses. In this video I'm going to be kind of showing you guys how to put together the face and how I kind of work out where to put the eyes, where to put the nose and just sort of how to lay out the face from different angles. But if you'd like more in-depth tutorials on how to, um, some ideas for drawing eyes and noses etc then I'll link those videos in the iCard section and there'll be a playlist so you can watch all, all the videos together as a little series. So um, that said, um, I hope you guys will find this tutorial helpful and let's get into um, starting. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how I put together a face in profile. So that's looking straight at you and for me I find it the easiest uh, face to draw and I'm just going to start by making a circle and as you can see I'm not, I, I'm quite a messy sketcher, so I'm just going round and round just to kind of get a basic circle shape, and that's how I start. If you don't like, if you don't want so many messy lines, you could just go round and round like that. I've seen some people do this, um, and not have the pencil touching the paper, but just kind of warm up your arm a little bit like this, and then and then draw one line down. But it's helpful to kind of get this motion going to um, get your circles nice to start with. And then, so once I've got a sort of a circle shape down, I'm just going to bring a line straight down the middle of the circle and down to about here. Now, the length of this line is from the top of the head and this is where the bottom of the chin is. So one of the things when you're designing or developing your own style and drawing your own sorts of faces is that the facial, um, the shape of the face and the length between the the chin and the eye line, it is all that that's part of the style. So you don't have to. I draw that I have quite I, long faces a lot of the time, but you could st stop the chin there. You could have a very short sort of a, a chibi faces. When you see a, a chibi drawing, they often have very. Um, very short faces. The chin is very short in other words, so it's all a question of style, but I take it down to about there and it's about about half the circle I'd say or so if you want to sort of measure it out you have the circle and then you have you sort of take it down by about another half, about, by about half of this in other words. So once I have that down there I come over here and I just where the edge of the circle is and I'm just going to just bring that down a bit, I think that circle's a bit wide, and I just come down like that, and that makes the edge of the cheeks. Now I have seen some people who will sort of draw out a skeleton structure underneath their face before they um, put any details on top. It's j it just depends on ha what, what works best for you. For me that takes too long so I quite like just to get straight in and just to start drawing and I don't want to start drawing a skeleton structure underneath but if it works for you then please go ahead and do that. Um, then I'm going to take this line down, sort of curve it, and I'm going to bring this line, curving it down to meet the chin. And then I'm going to curve this line up and come up like this. I just have to twist the book just for a second, just to sort of see if that lines up a bit. And you can always rub out and correct any lines that aren't completely how you want it. So that is the basic my basic face shape and I don't put a lot of I mean I try to make it look as nice as possible but I don't over I try not to overthink it to be honest and then from here I just like to bring down the neck and if you've seen any of my drawings you would will know that I tend to draw slightly longer necks as a rule 
it's just just something that I do, something that, that I like the look of. And any of this can be adapted. If you're, if you're following along this tutorial and you want to sort of adapt things to make them more your own and to make it more your own style, any of these points, you can make shorter legs, longer necks, you can make um, the head shape different sizes. I'll just show you over here very quickly. It depends. Now this, you're starting with a circle and then you can add on your chin, and that's quite normal. But if you started with an oval and then added on a chin, you'd get a very different face shape. If you started with more of a square shape to start with and then added on the chin, or you didn't have a chin, you see it makes the stylization look very different. If you think of any of the uh, popular TV shows, or if you think of the difference between the characters in Gravity Falls and the characters in The Simpsons, or the characters in these different TV shows, that their head shapes are very different. So if you're going for a very stylized look, you can just experiment with drawing out different uh, starting shapes, then adding on the chin and then making the necks really long or really short and stubby. So you can really get a lot of character, a difference in the character design by just um, mixing up these sorts of structural features. Now I particularly love it when the necks are really long. Um, there are a couple of artists that I follow that draw these really long necks. Now I've never drawn a neck quite that long but I do actually really like that but it all depends on what you like to go for. But it's important, I think, to experiment a little bit and to see what you like. So now let's draw on the eye line. And in this dip here on the either side, that's where the eye line comes when I'm drawing. I just bring it across like this, and then I draw the top guideline like that. And again, if you're if you want to draw eyes that are much bigger or much smaller, you just you just move this guideline up or down to uh, incorporate the size of the eyes that you're drawing. Now. I've been drawing eyes a little bit smaller recently than I have before because I just, I'm veering towards liking the eyes just a little bit smaller so I like to have my guideline not too wide. And then about here is the nose and about, about, sorry let me just get this clear for you. So I tend to do about there the nose and about there the mouth. And I will draw on my nose and as I said earlier I have a full sort of tutorial on how I draw noses from different angles um, and I won't go into too much detail on how I draw it in the how I draw the facial features in this video because I do have a separate video that's all um, dedicated to each of the facial features. So let me just put it on the lips so that we have the face and I don't have a lot of space between the chin and the lips and that's just something that I do and again it's all part of your, the style that you're going for and just what you like in general. So if you don't like something, feel free to change it. So now I'm going to put in, actually first of all, I, I like to put in the eyebrows first of all. I tend to just put in the eyebrows above this line and then the ear starts at the top where the eyebrow is and it comes down and I just kind of kind of bring it down like that on either side. So that's the ears, basically the eyebrows, and now I'm going to put in the eyes and I'm just going to make some, just a rough sort of ar almond sort of shape here and I'm just going to do it quite roughly today so that I can show you how I place things. Now some people will tell you um, the the amount of space between the eyes again is up to you. I like to it's about this it's about an eye apart. So basically that I don't ever have the eye butting up against the edge of the cheek here. So I like to have it in. In fact, it's a little uneven on each side, but um for me that I just I don't worry about things like that. It adds to the character of the piece and I just I just roll with it. I try not to worry too much about things. I think sometimes people can um it depends what look you're going for, but I do think a lot of times, um, from what I've heard people tell me, they can you can just overthink it. And if you're just sketching, you can always go ahead and change things, rub things out if they're not quite how you want them, or refine them. But I, I like to sketch. This is why I sketch very roughly because I do a lot of rubbing out, changing, adjusting things. So there, there are the eyes, and they're basically one eye apart. So that, the space of this eye, the length of this eye is basically the length in between there and there. So that's more or less how I lay out the face. And then of course, you know, you'll have your the hair coming down. Um, the hair is a completely different tutorial. So that's more or less how I lay the face out on a profile view. And if, 
as I said, I do want to, I just really want to uh, stress that if you don't like the nose that low, then you can move it up on yours. If you don't like, if you want larger lips or you want the, you just really play around with how you want to lay out your own face because there's no one right way of doing anything. And um, I'm doing this tutorial because it was one of the videos that have been requested for so long on this channel. And I hope it's helpful, but I really want you guys to um, experiment as much as possible. And if you think, well, I like, I like the eyes, but I hate where that nose is, then you move the nose. Um, I like this, but that doesn't mean that everyone else is going to. So now I'm just going to show you how I kind of do a face that's turning, turning, turning. So we have, again, the circle. And this time I'm going to bring the nose line down like this. Actually, no I'm not. This is why this is a real-time tutorial. I'm going to bring the nose like that. And this line pretty much dictates the, the kind of the slant of the face. So I'm going to bring down the nose line to about there or so. Then here, on the edge of the face, I'm going to come out. This is the chin. Then I'm going to come down and go in like that. Actually, if I can just come in a little bit more, okay. And then over here, I'm going to go down like that and come down like that. And then there's the ear. And that's how I structure a face that's slightly turning. And then here I have, I'll just put in the nose quickly. I'll put the nose in about there. Then I have the lips. And with the lips, when they're turning, um, I like to bring the line up longer on this side, but I don't bring the lines too much up over there because you won't see them. There's the lips. And then I'll just place in the eyes to quickly show you guys. So we have there's the top of the ear. The top of the the top of the ear is a good indication of where the eyebrows should be. That's kind of what I follow. And so then I'm just going to draw in the eyes, the eyes on this side, and then the eyes on this side. Now, to be honest, this eye always causes me a lot of trouble. I find drawing the eye in this pos position very difficult. It's one of the reasons why I like drawing profiles, um, just n not profiles, straight on, um, f a, a face straight on much more than to the side because I can get both eyes the same size. And I find that when I'm doing it like this, sometimes the eyes can look a little wonky. At least that's what I find. So one of the things, uh, one of the tips that I have, if I just rub out a little bit to see if I can... Okay, one of the tips that I have here is not to have the eye, the eyelash line, butting up against the nose line. And you don't want the eye kind of butting into the side of the cheek either. I like to overlap the lashes a little bit. But I don't... Um, let me just shade this in so it looks a little bit clearer. Um, I don't butt up the eye to the edge of the nose there. And I also try not to butt it up against the, to the, against the side of the cheek either, but sometimes when you're drawing like this in a very small space, it doesn't really matter. But it, it does matter that it's not up against that line of the nose. At least from what I've found, um, it makes quite a big difference to how the piece looks in the end. So then I'll just bring down the neck. And then, of course, the hair comes down however you want the hair to come down. And that's more or less how I lay out a face on the the view looking that way. And I'll just I'll just draw it out again to quickly show you guys. And you can see that I don't I don't fuss too much about the placing here and this is one of the reasons why it's taken me so long to make this tutorial and um, because I've seen other people make how to draw a face uh, how to lay out a face tutorial and they get very scientific about it they may draw in like a skeleton under they measure out distances and that's absolutely fine if you if that's how you want to draw that's fine um I just find for me I don't it's not very I find it a bit constraining to be honest and I don't want to when I'm just sketching I don't want to start measuring so again I've got the circle the line down here to dictate uh, to dictate the um, the orientation of the head then I come out with the cheek come down to the chin 
and then curve curve that up and it's quite, I like to curve this line, it's, it's curving out, it's not curving in this line, the line of the jaw here, and then I have that, the ear, and then I have the neck like this, and then I bring the eye line, the eye guide lines, we have one eyebrow, another eyebrow, I always like to put the nose on first here because it helps to place that eye in that little space there. And then I have the nose here, and let's do let's do her here with her mouth open. And sometimes, um, it, when it gets very small, one of the tricks that I do sometimes is I actually just I give her closed eyes because sometimes if you have a very small space and you're thinking, how do I draw an eye in there that looks like an eye? The answer is to give her closed eyes. That's one of the things that I do, or one of the things that I do is just kind of give her, give her an eye like this, where you just have the eyelashes. It's very stylized, but I have done it several times before when I've just not been able to draw the eye that looks quite right in the corner there. And yeah, so that's from different angles, and this line will determine the curve of the face. So you could draw it if you wanted to have a face that was only very slightly turned, you could draw it like this. You have your circle, you draw your line, then you draw the cheek coming down to meet it, and then on the other side, something like that, then you have your your neck, and then on this in this case the nose is like this, then you have your your lips your eyes. In fact, I'll just do that little trick here. It's also a nice way of just... It's one of the things... I just really like doing that. And it's a lifesaver when eye, when eye placement is driving you crazy. So just bring this chin down a little bit here. And then we just put the ears on. And see, so you... that. It's that line. The, the most, the two most important things that I like to do is the, is the start with. The only rules I really follow are the circle, and then that guideline. So that guideline could be there, it could be straight on, it could be completely to one side, and you know, or it could be you know almost so that you hardly see the edge of the face, like that. So it's these two lines, it's the, these two shapes, the circle and then that middle guideline that, di that dictates that dictates the um, shape of, not the shape, the, um, the angle of the head. They're the only things that I really follow in terms of rules. Everything else I just kind of place. I don't spend a lot of time worrying about the placement. If it's not quite right, I rub it out. Um, I actually quite, sometimes um, the, the more um, I, I do like to get things as perfect as possible, but at the same time, I don't start measuring things out and um, doing that. So um, this is more of a free way of doing it, I guess. There are other tutorials I have seen where people will measure it out and give you measurements. Um, if you want a measurement for this, it's basically the circle, the line, and then the line comes down to about half of the sh uh, size of the circle. And then I do the lips the nose, the two eyes, and normally I leave about the, sh the size of the eye in between. Sometimes it's a little bit closer together, but it just really depends. And I like, I'm, I always leave a gap between the eye and the side of the cheek. And then I have, um, on this side, I always leave a gap between the nose line and the eye. And as I said, the, the more you experiment with different sort of facial shapes, and you may even sort of decide that you're, like, like with the chibi heads, you're hardly going to have um, a chin. So you have a very, very, uh, ch a, sh a very um, short face. So there's not much room between the eye line and the bottom of the chin there. And that can look just as nice as well. You just experiment with what, how you like to, how, how you'd like to draw things and what you think looks nice. But basically, if you like the way that I draw faces, then this is how 
I lay out my faces. This is how I do it in every one of my videos and everything that I do. This is how I lay it out. Anyway, guys, I really hope this video was helpful and um, let me know if you have any questions down below. If you have any other tutorials you'd like, um, you can let me know and I'll try to get to um, the requests as soon as possible. I have quite a long list already, um, but I do try to get to them as, as often as I can. Hope you all have a wonderful day, guys, and I will see you.